Hello! Welcome! So, uh, this is a Minecraft channel now. Okay, I'm not- I'm not doing that. Um, what we're doing is, uh, similar to a Let's Try, um, uh, we're- we're gonna be playing Vintage Story. So, what is Vintage Story? Well, a couple people mentioned in my, uh, Minecraft ironic shitpost, uh, video. Hey, you should try Vintage Story. What is Vintage Story? <laughs> it's like Minecraft but not like Minecraft. Um, you know, uh, it's difficult to, I guess, explain it without talking and like directly comparing the both similarities and differences to Minecraft, but we're gonna get into the major differences and I swear every single time I'm like, yeah, the music is like quiet enough and I'm like, oh, it's not quiet enough. Um, it looks a lot like Minecraft, for sure. And um, people who like Minecraft might like Vintage Story, but I will say you're gonna you're gonna want to prepare yourself mentally because Vintage Story is a much more involved game uh, than than Minecraft. I uh, I don't know I shouldn't say that because you know you can play Minecraft in about 18 bajillion ways, so uh, you know you can get pretty involved in Minecraft. But I, I guess that what I should say is Vintage Story focuses more on the survival aspects. Um, than it does on, say, like, uh, specifically creative building. Um, you know, it, it's got some exploration in there, but it's, it's about the process. Let's, let's start there. Um, so, uh, I've, I've created a new world here, and I've done so because I, I did have a world, but it, I, I kinda, I kinda was not doing well in that world, and we may see what that, looks like in in a in this play i am going to probably edit this because this is a game that's going to take a long time to kind of uh piece together uh you're going to see me do a lot of the same stuff and hey, hey we got an npc here op optal so you can buy i can buy stuff from them i can also sell specific things to them um i'm just doing a bit of exploration for now we're going to look at our, our guide in a second. What is our guide? Well, it's going to tell us how to start. So uh, let's let's talk a bit about what kind of experience we're going to expect here. Um, I, I guess I should say, so this is not a let's try. I have played a little bit of this game. It's more a pilot because people expressed an interest in me playing this game. It's very, very different from anything I've done on this channel, even including the experiments I've done. Um, I wouldn't mind doing some of this, but it really is, uh, you know, is there, is there going to be people who want to watch it? Uh, I figure at the, you know, along with, um, a potential, like, hey, I could do a series, I might just, like, show people this game, because I think that it is flying under the radar for a lot of people. Um, so, what, what are we going to do? First, we need to find flint or hard stones. They can often be found loose on the ground. When you have two of them, shift right click to place one of them on the ground to begin napping. We'll talk about what napping is. Napping is a thing that you know about if you are like, and I say this with endearment, um, a total nerd. Uh, I do say that with endearment. How come I can't harvest this? I don't know. Oh, does it? Is it telling me why? No. It says ripe. I should be able to harvest this. Maybe I need a tool of some kind. So we're gonna go and find ourselves some flint. I should also try and um, get this reed. Oh, and we need to make a knife with before we can do that. Okay. Well, I did see some flint and hardstone near to my spawn, um, but I didn't pick them up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we're gonna pick up this stuff. This is granite stone. So that's a hard stone. You see, do you understand? <laughs> it's a hard stone. Um, what we want to do is we want to nap this hard stone into some, some kind of usable tool. This is granite gravel. I don't know if we can nap on that. Excuse my phone. Why can't I pick it up? Oh, there we go. So we have, um, we do have flint and we have granite stone. So I think we have all of the things we need to begin our, our, begin at the beginning, you know? Begin at the beginning and end where you mean to. And that will give us the complete picture. 
So we'll pick up a few more of these things. I'll come over here. And um, so what we're gonna do is we wanna learn about napping. So be to begin napping, you have to first collect two stones, either flints or hard loose stones, e example, granite. With a stone in your active hand slot, aim at the ground and hold sneak right click. So, okay. So um, we're gonna begin napping. So what, what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna probably make a knife, uh, flint knife blade. We, we probably want to make that. We want to make other things too, but first of all, we want to make a knife. And this is what napping looks like. So basically what we're doing right now is we're removing all of the blocks that are not the two knife heads that we want. So yeah, as I said, this is a game about the process. Uh, napping is a thing we're going to be doing in the early stages of the game and you know This is a game that's going to kind of take us, you know from like our very primitive stone age Straight up to you know clay and then bronze age um, So we have our knife flint knife blade. I think we can already start using it uh, Let's see here. Can we can we harvest this? Break to harvest I think we did get some. Okay, so we got some reeds. We're going to need some reeds. I know that. Um, the thing that, uh, like, you know, just to explain my my first <laughs> vintage story experience, <clears throat> basically I, I, I did a lot of exploration trying to find stuff that the game was explaining to me that I needed, things like reeds, for example, um, <clears throat> and stones and flint, and I spent a lot of time doing that, and eventually it became nighttime. And nighttime in Vintage Story does not mess around. You know, it's like that. It's like that meme. You got the. You got the, like you know, uh, person trying to explain to you uh, how dark that nighttime should be with the moody settings turned up all the way, and then you have like the freaking chisel chinned uh, Chad nighttime that is Vintage Story because I s you cannot see a single thing in the bleakest, darkest of nights. It is so dark in Vintage Story when it becomes nighttime. So you really gotta get a, a fire going. So um, my first experience in Vintage Story was trying to get a fire going at nighttime while it was raining. It was, it was raining. Oh, we, oh we, can, we have to right click to harvest, my bad. My bad, I, needed, I need to uh, get them berries because we're gonna need, we're gonna need them berries. Um, so we can get some stuff here. I don't know. Did I get anything from that? I don't know if I did Low fertility soil grassy eh. Real gray hot um, so You know, I, I'm sitting there and I mean it, try please consider or, or uh, Imagine the most realistic trying to put a fire together with the most limited tools possible so you, you literally got a stick and some wood and, and you're trying to, you know, you're huddled in the cold, it's raining and uh, you're, you're, you're rubbing your sticks together and you can't see, you cannot even see. I'm doing everything via tool tips basically. Like I, I can see that the thing is like the, the attempted fireplace is right underneath me and I'm, I'm trying to rub the sticks together and I'm mashing the buttons and I'm doing everything I can and I get the fire going and I can see, I can finally see for the first time in like a, a solid hour and then the rain puts the fire out and I am starving and cold and in the rain. And that is a experience you can have in Vintage Story. And so it feels a bit more, I would say immersive, you know, it's really trying to go for a feeling um, more so maybe than Minecraft. I mean, Minecraft is Minecraft. At this point, it is its own genre, you know? Like it's so much a genre that you cannot even have blocks in your game without uh, an attempted you know a coup <laughs> well yeah not let's not go nuts but you know you can't you, you if you put blocks in your game you're gonna come you're gonna have people coming at you with oh is this the new game from the the you know the head honchos at mo yang and, and oh my god and you know um now to be fair uh, i'm not you know this isn't me saying that this game is not my like minecraft this is, uh, you know, this is me telling, talking about the differences, really. Um, but before we continue, let's continue. Um, we've done our napping um, progression guide. 
We want to make a we want to make a a, a a basket. I think. Um, starter survival guide. Your starting inventory has ten slots. You can also carry up to four baskets or other containers. The most basic one, the hand basket, requires ten cattails. Um, we have twenty, so we can make two of these. Harvest cattails from reeds or papyrus. Then hit E to open your inventory to craft. The crafting recipe is on the okay. So we have um, very similar. Um, kind of crafting recipes and, you know, crafting recipe, crafting works exactly the way you think, um, as it does in our, uh, other game, Minecraft. <laughs> so now we have some baskets we can put, we can actually put, you know, stuff in the baskets. We have more room. We can like put a you know, granite stone in there and that's fine. Um, let's move on. Crafting recipe. Okay, so uh, finding food. An easy food source is berries from berry bushes. Check. We've got berry bushes. If you're feeling adventurous, attempt to hunt and kill an animal. Cooked cattail roots are a good emergency food. Keep an eye open for crops. They will be a valuable so food source in the longer term. Once you've found clay, be sure to get into meal cooking to greatly improve your nutrition intake. Fire. So we have to we have to get this going before it becomes nighttime. Nap a knife and use it to gather grass. Place the grass on the ground. Add four pieces of firewood. Uh, we're going to need the firewood, though, right? Where would one... One would expect to get the firewood from uh, a tree, you'd think. Okay. So... All right. Let's, let's start with the grass. So it turns out we did get something from... From the grass, and I, am I getting something? I got a woad. Woad. So maybe you don't get every you don't get something every time you break the grass. Oh, maybe we're supposed to collect it. We need to attach this knife to something, maybe. Um, starter, inventory, everything. Let's start with everything. Let's start with knife. Okay, here we go. Granite knife. We need a stick. Aha. Where do we get the stick? Obtained from vessels or leaves or loose sticks. So let's go get some, uh, let's go get some sticks so we complete our knives. So, so that we can complete our knives. I got a, I, you know, I I, uh, I, tr I picked up Vintage Story on a whim, uh, mostly because um, I, I, I watched my, uh, uh, I watched Kaylin playing this game. Kaylin's been playing a lot of this game, and it's a very good vibes game, you know. This is a, this is a vibes game to the absolute extreme, you know. Now, um, you might gonna, you might ask, is, is survival the only aspect of this game? And the answer is no. There's, there are many aspects of this game, and combat is, of course, one of them. You gotta have, you gotta have a little bit of combat in a game like this. And um, so there are enemies, and they are interesting. I haven't actually encountered them myself. I have watched them in other streams, but basically they are like kind of monsters that appear during temporal storms. What is a temporal storm? Well, it's an interesting event that occurs in this game every once in a while, and it's something you have to be wary of. Um, you can you can very much fine tune your experience in Vintage Story, and you can turn things like temporal storms down or off, or make them occur less and make them occur for shorter periods of time. Um, what is this? What did we just get from that? More kind of more berries, white currant bush. Oh, I see. So it's going to be it's not that one was not ripe yet. I like the little moth, it's just a nice little touch of something. You know, it adds a lot. Little butterflies. I gotta say, the look of this game really charmed me. Um, it, it, you know, have we have a slight, um, what's that term? I forget what it's called. Uh, distancing effect going on, uh, which is kind of nice. We have a little bit of, you know, dynamic lighting is nice. You know, little touches here and there. It almost feels like Minecraft with like an Optifine mod pack or something. Okay, so um, we've got our sticks. Now we want to craft our knives. 
Let's go ahead and craft our knives. So we have flint knife. We'll get, make another flint knife and then uh, put that in our inventory, keep our sticks so we can make some more. Um, and now we can hopefully get some grass. There we go. All right, we're getting our grass. How much time do we have left? Not a lot. Uh, I need to cut down a tree. We need to get some wood. So, um, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, put our flint on the ground and we're gonna nap a ax head. You can, um, you can kind of shortcut napping also. You can cut off the pieces you don't need by like immediately cutting away, you know, so you, you, you can, you can shortcut napping and we're, we're going to see a progression on napping because later when we start to actually like make pots and stuff, we'll, we'll napping will become uh, almost like a 3d thing where we like build our, our pots like pixel by pixel. Um, it's time consuming and it, and it's part of the game experience. Like you, you really are uh, meant, to, things are meant to take some time. So can we put, do this? Oh, there we go, that that works. That's that's pretty intuitive. Let's go ahead and put some some of that. We, we don't have to have that in our to, hot um, toolbar. We'll, we'll figure out woads later. Really need to hurry things along and uh, get our fireplace going. All right, we got some wood. So how do we make uh, firewood? Um, this isn't firewood, right? How do we make firewood? Oh, by putting an axe with wood in the same, in the crafting table. So we got to put our wood in there and then we got to put the actual axe in there. There we go. There's our four firewood. We have eight firewood, so we should have enough for a fireplace. Um, but there's more involved here, more, more going on. Um, Okay, nap a knife and use it to cut, cut grass. Place the grass on the ground, add four pieces of firewood and ignite it with a fire, fire starter. You can now use the fire pit to cook roots and meat or light torches that can be made from sticks and dry grass. How do we, how do we dry, get dry grass? By ingredients, by cutting grass. Do we have dry grass? Oh, that is dry grass, okay. So um, all we need to know is how to make the fire starter. This is dry grass and two sticks. So we have everything we need. Might like to have a little bit more grass. And I was gonna do editing, but uh, I might just like have do like one day and uh, kind of post this and see what the reception is for something like this. Um, you're gonna expect really low stakes gameplay. I will do editing. Uh, when it comes to like you know making our house and stuff like this, but I figured this first episode um, we can we can really take some time to appreciate the process of things. And uh, you know like I I'm 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 pretty pretty fresh, um, you know when it comes to this game as well. I don't know it super well, so um, you can expect me to make mistakes and figure things out as I play. And if that sounds like something that appeals to you, then uh, then we're on the same page about this. All right, so let's put some um, shift. We're gonna shift right click, click to create a fireplace, fire pit. Then we're gonna add our um, firewood to it. Add four pieces of firewood. One, two, three, four. Look at that, it makes a nice little fire pit like that. And then we're going to ignite it um, by making a fire starter. And we do that with one stick and to dry grass. Does that, is that not it? Is that not it? Do we need one dry grass and two stick? I really appreciate this game having a built-in, um, it has a built-in kind of like wiki. One of my least favorite things about Minecraft is, uh, and yeah, you can not like Minecraft for certain reasons, but I hate, truly hate having to look up recipes. I. I despise it. I, there's something about having to leave a game to go look something up that I find really uh, takes me out of it. So I'm not going to light this just yet. I want to make a torch first. Because <clears throat> uh, I don't know, like, we do have enough fuel to last a the night. But I want to figure out... Oh, we, could, we might maybe want to make a spear 
at some point. Um, you can now use the fire pit to cook roots and meat or light torches that can be made from sticks and dry grass. How do we, yeah, but how do we make the torches? I guess I could just um, search it, but oh, there we go. That's That's how. All right, we have some white currants. Can we cook this? When juiced, oh, we can make juice in this game, yo. I wonder if they, we could make mead. If, like, I know there's like tending to, to bees and stuff. All right, so let's get to uh, making this fire. So let's go ahead and open, oh, open. Okay, let's, we gotta, we gotta light it, I think. Um, how do we light it? No, that's not it. Is this our fire starter? It is our fire starter. Uh, shift, right, refuel. Oh, there we go. There we go. So this is what I was doing at the, in, in pitch dark with the rain. It takes a little while. Yep. Yeah. We're uh, we're straight up um Tom Hanks from uh, Castaway right now. All right, so there's our fire and that little bit of light that it provides it it it, it means a lot. Um and I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of our fire on there, our firewood. And um we'll light light our I don't know how to light this uh Did that, did I just put it on there? I don't, hmm, maybe doing, no, I don't think that's right. When heated turns, oh, okay, so we do need to heat it. So I got to heat it to a certain amount and then it turns into a lit torch. Wow. Wild. Um, I think we can put this in our left hand so we don't have to hold it with our main hand. And then we can go and accomplish other things like uh, getting some more food. Um, we can cut down some more trees, get some more wood. And now we have like a reference point um, that we can kind of work around. Uh, can we pick this up without, oh, okay. There we go. Definitely want to pick up as much of that as we can. Um, growing rye, that sounds like it would be useful. I, I, You know what, honestly, what I would like is we're running low on food, we should eat some food. I'm gonna eat some berries gonna do a little bit for us um, I don't want to jump in the water obviously but I want to uh, maybe cut some more reeds so we can get some more reeds I wonder if I like just jump in this one block high water if that would put out my torch I don't want to put out my torch oh okay all right, we're good. I just won't go in water any deeper than this. But I want some more reeds so that I can uh, make some more. What is that? Root? What is that? Cattail root. Cooks into one cooked cattail root. Can be planted again. Oh, interesting. So we could maybe plant some more reeds. It might be that you can kind of harvest reeds in the same way that you do in Minecraft. You know, like you just chop chop the top bit, and uh, and then you could like it, it might grow some more reeds. Or as uh, you know, some people may, might know it as the cursed hot dog, the cursed glizzy. All right. So we got some more reeds, so we can make another basket. Uh, what? Huh? Why not? Oh, we need two, right. There we go. We got another basket, more inventory room. Five more uh, reeds would do it. So you can see nighttime truly does not mess around. It's It's insane to me how... 
I don't know. It's it's like actually spooky. It's back to basics. Like when when um you know when Minecraft first came out, it honestly spooked me quite a bit. It was a really spooky game. Like they had these you know, you have your built-in sound effects, obviously, in, in Minecraft that let you know ooh, you're approaching a, a spooky something, there's a cave, there's a something out there. And it, it was like, uh, I mean, you made this to be scary, and it's working. I, I am a little bit scared. Um, so, oh, oh god, what is that? What? Surface Drifter? Ah, Jesus. That's what we sound like, by the way. Oh my god, I might die. Okay, we're running. I, I, I'm like almost dead. Have them walk in the fire, does that do nothing? These guys have a lot of health, huh? Okay, are you dead? Oh god! Oh god, oh my god! Yo! Ah! Jeez! Yo, let me, let me stay in here tonight. Oh my god. Hmm. Well, <sighs> that was spooky. I I won't lie. Uh, I don't know how to heal ourselves. Uh, I don't know who's trying to talk to me. I just noticed there's no wall here. Ah! Uh, congratulations, you died. Rage quit. Wow. Some snark there. Um, was that someone throwing something at me again? Oh, hello. So, I don't know where I am. I think I know where I am. But you don't necessarily respawn in the same place. I, I am in a completely random location right now. Um... So that's a bit of a bummer. I am like, at least I, I know that I am around the same area, but I, I can't be sure. Oh, there, okay. At least the light over there is guiding me a little bit. I'm surprised right now I have any light because I don't have a light on me. So what is casting this light exactly? Like I, I you know, when I played this game, there was no light, like you could not see anything. So I'm not sure, maybe this is a grace. It's giving me a little bit of grace. Um, which I, I could definitely do with considering all these enemies that I can't really do anything about. I don't think that staying in here is actually conducive to a healthy and happy lifestyle. So I didn't realize that um, that there were enemies at night. There weren't in my game. My previous game. Attack range 2 meters. Light level 14. I wonder if attacking with a torch is actually like viable. Gonna eat some food. I don't know how to recover our health. We have some rye seeds. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that. I don't know. I might to uh, if I I might in a actual play session or series, like make a new world and uh, turn down the uh, aggression levels of things because I I don't necessarily want to deal with something like this. This is horrible. <laughs> Of course, we could also just try and make a house. Like, that would probably be ideal. 
maybe I would continue with this and like try and get a house in order. Try and build something nice. I assume these guys are only out at nighttime. You got your classic happy music while I'm like in in like the most dire straits right now. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to I'm going to end things here. And I mean, it's a nice little cliffhanger um to maybe keep you interested. I don't know. Um you let me know. Uh you let me know if this is something you'd like to see more of. N not me kind of hobbled into one block, but you know, trying to trying to get a building going uh or house and uh maybe progressing through the uh proverbial kind of tech tree of, you know, making pots and stuff and eventually working up to coke ovens and stuff like that rock strata i don't know backpacks we could get some leather um i think there's a lot to to you know of interesting stuff going on here and it, i think it would make for an interesting series um so i'm interested to see what what y'all think of this anyway if you did enjoy this definitely let me know let me know in the comments uh you know hit that like button and consider subscribing and all of that business and i'll see you guys next time Take it easy.